Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming my fall favorites tag. I absolutely love fall and I'm so excited to share with you my favorite things about fall. So let's get started. So the first thing on the list is your favorite fall candle. So obviously I can't pick between just one candle because I'm sure every girl out there loves Bath and Body Works candles, especially in the fall and winter time. But um, my favorite two actually, um, the, this is from the Tyler Candle and Company. I uh, get this up in place um, in Clear Lake and I absolutely love it. Uh, this is in the smell Cinnabons and this smells better than Bath and Body Works uh, cinnamon um, sugar donut I think it was. Yeah, but this smells 10 times better. As you can see, I've gone through the whole entire thing, literally. I can't even light the candle anymore. It's not even going to do it. So I might, just to get the rest of this out, I might put it on my candle warmer. But um, yeah, I absolutely love this. The next top one that I have is Marshmallow Fireside. I haven't burned this one yet because I'm saving it for last because this is my favorite out of all the ones that I bought when they had their 2 for 24 sale. So um, this is like in between feminine and masculine but it legit smells like marshmallows, like roasting over the fire. Obviously, that's why I call it Marshmallow Fireside, but it legit does, and it smells amazing. Um, I also have Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin burning right now and Brown Sugar Allspice in my kitchen, and I love both of those as well. I loved the Caramel Apple or caramel pumpkin swirl, I think it, that's what it was. And I loved that one. That one was, it smelled so good. But the last time I went to Bath and Body Works, they didn't have it anymore because I guess it was super popular. It must have sold out. So number two is your favorite lip color. So I have two of my favorites right here. This is the Mary Kay Cream Lipstick in Whipped Berries. And it's this really nice, kind of shimmery, um, like burgundy, reddish and I love it. It's got a little bit of shimmer in it, but it's really, really pigmented and it's really, really creamy. I love that about it. So it's definitely a really good one for just even wearing during the day. It's not too dark and it's not too light, so it's really nice that way as well. Then I also have the NYX Butter Gloss in Angel Food Cake. This one I'm actually wearing it now and I just wore in one of the tutorials that I filmed, but I really, really like it because it's a nice, warmy, brownish pink and that's right here and I like it because it's a really good gloss and I absolutely love pigmented glosses but I don't like it enough where they're so sticky and these NYX butter glosses are definitely not like that at all and I own a couple of them and I really really like them so this one is really nice I'm actually wearing it right now and it's just a nice natural color so the next one on the list is your favorite drink I don't like coffee at all. I don't like lattes. I don't like cappuccinos. I just think they taste all like coffee and I really hate that I don't like them. I wish I would, but I don't. So what I like to drink during the fall and the winter time is apple cider. Hands down my favorite drink of all time. I love the cider spices that you can pour into the actual like apple cider. Doesn't matter what apple cider it is. Um, I love ones from, I get them from Aldi's, I get them from Hy-Vee, I get them from wherever and I absolutely love it. But those cider spices that you can pour into it when you microwave it is just even better. And I love, love, love those. So number four on the list is your favorite blush. But I really haven't been wearing brush blush lately. So I um, substituted that for your favorite fragrance so something that you spray on so I've absolutely been loving these two from Bath and Body Works it's the marshmallow pumpkin latte and the warm vanilla sugar warm vanilla sugar has been my favorite since I was in high school probably for about five years now and this is my favorite to bring back around the fall and the winter time when it turns winter this is really all that I wear but I've been wearing this marshmallow pumpkin latte a lot this one isn't too overpowering, and I honestly didn't think that I was going to like this in a body spray, but I actually really do like it. I've also been loving the Mary Kay Cityscape uh, fragrance. Um, Eau de Perfume, I think is what they call it, but... Um, yeah, I literally just got this and it's already halfway gone because I, whenever I spray things on me, I spray like the whole bottle it seems like and I kind of get a little bit overpowered with that but I don't want to smell all day, smell bad all day so I like to put that on. But this is really cool packaging. I like the way that they packaged it and that this isn't like just a top, like it goes on really, really cool and I love that it's a nice like mature 
not sexy smell, but it's really nice for fall and the winter. So the next one on the list is your favorite clothing item. Um, anything plaid and anything sweater. Love it. I, I, I honestly um, love that Old Navy has been stepping up their game lately and they have really nice plaid shirts. I got this vest from them. I've also really been liking from Old Navy their, um, I think they call them, their boyfriend tunics and this is what it is it's just a plaid shirt it buttons halfway down but it's really nice it's a long it's comfy it keeps you warm throughout the day and this is another one of their plaid shirts that i got as well i love that it's different colors i've never had anything like this but this is just a regular plaid shirt that i'll probably wear today after this just so and it's their plaid shirts are just so warm i have a gray one as well and it's so so nice this is another one of the sweaters that i got i like that it's kind of got like the scarf effect to it around the neck so it keeps you warm and it's longer too so that way it can cut you can wear it with leggings and boots and it'll be really cute and i also got this sweater i love any kinds of the sweaters that they have um they are just so comfy anything sweater anything plaid um i like to wear high-waisted jeans and t-shirts just like i am today but but um, I love to pair it with sweaters or plaid shirts. Sometimes I'll, I love fall boots, those ankle boots. I got all of mine from Old Navy and I love those. So they're really cute with jeans. You can pair them with leggings, anything like that. That is definitely my favorite fall wear. So the next item on the list is your favorite fall movie. Your favorite fall movie should be Hocus Pocus because that is a legendary movie that is just hands down the best Halloween movie you've ever seen in your life. I also love old scary movies. My mom and I um, love to watch those, like the 1960s Psycho. Um, we watch Silence of the Lambs, like all those really good old scary movies that really aren't scary anymore because I think scary movies nowadays are scary. Like I can't watch those, but like those old ones I love and I can definitely watch those. The next one on the list is your favorite fall TV show, The Walking Dead. Um, <laughs> The Walking Dead is definitely my favorite fall TV show. They usually air all of their new seasons in October. Um, so it's been two weeks now that it started. And it's so, so good, season six. And so if you haven't watched The Walking Dead, like, lots of people think that, oh, it's just a zombie show. Like, it's just stupid, zombies, blah, blah, blah. No, like, there's actually, like, a legit backstory behind it. And, like, it gets really, really intense. Like, love stories, all that good stuff. So if you haven't started watching The Walking Dead at all. It's on Netflix. You can watch season one through five, I believe, on Netflix. The first two episodes in season one are my favorite out of every episode that I've seen. So good. If there was ever a zombie apocalypse, which there won't be, but if there was ever a zombie apocalypse, like, I don't know what to do thanks to The Walking Dead. So just in case you want to know what to do during a zombie apocalypse, watch Walking Dead. So number eight on the list is your favorite Thanksgiving food. Um, mashed potatoes and gravy hands down. My grandma's mashed potatoes and gravy over Thanksgiving time is my favorite. Um, I, I love mashed potatoes and gravy anytime. If there's ever an option to get mashed potatoes and gravy, I'm getting mashed potatoes and gravy. I love to make homemade roast with mashed potatoes and gravy, like homemade gravy. Like we don't like buy packets or like buy stuff at the store. Like all of this stuff is homemade with cornstarch and you know, all that good stuff. Like this is homemade. So last on the list is your favorite Halloween costume. So I love to dress up as a zombie. This is my, this will be my second year doing it. I love to do, uh, last year I was like, oh, I don't know what I'm gonna be, blah, blah, blah. I was like, you know what, I think it'd be pretty cool to be a zombie because I'm still really into The Walking Dead and I loved it and um, I did that like liquid latex with like Kleenexes on my neck and like I think there's a picture of me on Instagram doing it so you should go to my Instagram and like stalk me and check it out but um, it was really cool and I won our Halloween costume contest at school so um it was really cool i had like some stuff over here and it was like all tore open i had one over here I had one like up on my forehead it was so cool i loved it and um i really really like to do that kind of stuff i love the um gory the really cool makeup that you can get into to do that kind of stuff zombies has definitely been my hands down favorite halloween costume that has been my fall favorites tag i'm going to be tagging some people below to do it as well so uh thank you guys for watching and i hope your fall has been going awesome see you guys bye